time so now we are going to see a very new chapter and time is very very essential we are usually see the time in the clock do you know how to find the time so now we are going to learn how to find the time so uh, this is uh, some basic information I am given there are 24 hours in a day there are 24 hours in a day so 12 hours for a day and 12 hours for a night so um, and two ants in the clock in the clock this is a clock and this is one more clock so in the clock we have seen two hands so short and that is red color it is a short and so uh, short and is called a r and okay h o u r a and and long hand it is a minute and long hand is a minute and so this is a long and is a minute and short and it is a r and the same thing in this clock also there are two hands so short and it is a R and and long and it is a minute and so red color denote R and and violet color denote minute and here blue color denote minute and okay so I'll repeat once again so how many hands in the clock there are two hands in the clock so one is short and and another is what long and so short and it is a R and and long and it is a minute and so short and is red in color and minute and in what blue in color in this diagram in this clock the same thing there are two hands in the clock one is a red hand it is a what a small hand it is a R and it denotes R and and uh, it's a long and it is violet it it it, it is in violet color it denotes what minute and okay now we are going to see um, so these numbers these numbers are represent what these numbers are represent this these numbers are minutes these numbers are represent minutes so each number represent five minutes okay so one one represent five minutes two represent ten minutes so each number represent minutes okay so one represent five minutes two represent <coughs> ten minutes three represent 15 minutes so 4 20 5 25 6 30 7 35 8 40 and what 9 45 and 9, 10 represent what 50 and 11 represent 55 and 12 is 60 so one hour is equal to how many minutes 16 minutes and half an hour is equal to 30 minutes and quarter hour that is 15 minutes so this is the minutes you have to find out and uh, one minute is equal to one minute is equal to how many 60 seconds okay one minute is equal to 60 second okay these are the important and basic uh, basic thing of time you have to memorize okay don't forget to memorize this so I've told you this is a clock and this is a another clock I mentioned the time so each number represent what five five minutes so I've told you numbers represent minutes and each number each number represent five five minutes so one represent five minutes two represent ten minutes three represent fifteen minutes and two hands represent one is a short and and another one is a long and short and is represent hour and and long hand represent minute and okay and this is in red color this is in blue color now the time is 12 35 so it comes nearly it even you can write I'm I've written sorry I've, I've drawn 12 um, the short and uh, um, pointed to the 12th uh, 12 this uh, what this short hand point to the 12 and this long hand point to 7 so 12 35 that means 35 minutes past 12 35 we are going to say 35 minutes past 12 so again I'll tell you the short and pointed to 12 and this long and pointed to 7 so I've told you each number represent 5 5 minutes so 1 is 5 minute 2 5 10 15 and 20 25 30 35 so 12 35 so 12 35 even you can draw like this so this you can so it it's becomes what this uh, this short and this short and what comes between 12 to 1 this also a right diagram it means this is a clock you know that this is 12 and this is 6 and this is 3 and this is 9 so 1235 this is 1235 means 1 and again what you have to write 2 and 3 4 5 4 and 5 6 7 again you have to write 8 9 10 and 11 okay 
write like this 12 so this is the point so you have to and long hand short hand okay this short hand the pointer to what pointer to it comes uh, comes between 12 to 1 so and this long hand pointed to 7 again I'll tell you this short hand this is in red color this uh, red and short hand uh, comes between 12 to what 12 to 1 comes comes between 12 to comes between 12 to 1 and this long and it denotes what 35 minutes and is always what not only 35 minutes this blue hand this blue hand is a long hand this long hand uh, denote only the minutes and also it pointed to 7 I told you each number represent 5 5 minute so that is what 1235 so this red hand that means red hand is a short hand it denotes only the R so it comes between 12 to 1 that is what 1235 that is what I have written 1235 otherwise we can call it as 35 minutes past 12 see always we have to learn that is two hands in the clock one is a short hand and another one is a long hand short hand is red in color and long hand is blue in color short hand it uh, denotes or represent what R and uh, long hand represent minute so, okay and each every each and every number represent five 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 minutes each and every number each and every number uh, represent 5 minutes so 1 represent 5 and 2 represent 10 3 represent 15 4 represent 20 5 represent 25 and 6 represent 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 all together 60 minutes in the clock that means 60 minutes mean 1 hour that is what this red hour between 12 to 1 and this uh, law this this red uh, sorry this red hand sorry this red hand what stands between 12 to 1 that means 12 and this blue hand that is a long hand what pointed to 7 the time is 1235 otherwise we can call it as 35 minutes past 12 so that is what I've written short hand hour and long hand minute it represents 1 hour is equal to 60 minute and half an hour is equal to 30 minutes so the same thing here this short hand it is in red in color long hand is violet in color short hand represent hour hand and long hand represent minute hand so this red on the hand between 11 to 12 and this long hand it pointed to 3 the time is 11 35 that is what i have written 11 sorry 11 15 Le this red hand what comes between 11 to 12 this red hand pointed to uh, pointed to 11 and 12 between 11 and 12 this red hand comes between 11 and 12 and this violet hand what point to 3 that means each number represent 5 5 10 15 so the time is 11 15 that means how, how you can say another way 15 minutes past 11 15 minutes past 11 so that is what I've written some example 11 15 that means 15 minutes past what 15 minutes past 11 otherwise quarter 15 means quarter 30 means half that is what so 11 15 mean quarter past 11 6 15 mean quarter past 6 7 15 mean quarter past 7 and 11 30 the second example 11 30 mean half past 11 11 1 30 mean half past 1 and 2 30 half past 2 then example 3 8 45 quarter to 9 because 8 45 that means 15 minutes more it becomes what 9 o'clock that is what you have written quarter to 9 and 7 45 it after that means it nearest to 8 o'clock then 15 minutes more only so you have to write quarter to 8 here 645 quarter to what quarter to sorry I have written quarter to 7 is the right answer 645 because 15 minutes more only if, if you reach 15 minutes um, if you uh, the 15 minutes passed away it becomes what 7 o'clock that is what you have written quarter to what 7 that means 15 minutes more that is what quarter to 7 you have to write 845 745 645 means you have to write quarter to the next hour that is 845 only 15 minutes more if you add 15 minutes it becomes what 9 that is 9 o'clock will come so you have to write always quarter to 9